Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Yes, it happened. It took place. Actually, a few months ago. What happened? I got a high-end turntable. Kuzma, stubby R. Let's go. Yes, guys, after a few years of testing different types of turntables, now I finally wanted to try a high-end turntable with a high-end tone arm. And after months of research, I finally decided on the Kuzma. This is the Stubby R. It's a new model. It came out around 2018, I think. And it's quite impressive. But first of diving in, before diving in and taking a look at the different aspects, I just want to start showing off what was together with it, the accessories, the tools, which I find quite cool. Now, first of all, you have their, cl their clamp, their record clamp, which has the same nice fabric, their own fabric that you find also on the platter. And this is a screw-on type. The best, in my opinion, and not only in my opinion. And it perfect. it's a perfect combination with the threaded spindle. As you can see, this is quite large, and it goes perfectly on top, right like that. Voila. So, I don't know why it says on their website that this is not included. It is, at least in mine, it was. Plus, you have a bunch of other stuff. Well, obviously, you have the bearing oil, you have screws of different types. You have Allen keys, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not going to show you all of that, but I do want to show you a series of spacers. Two of them are already in there. We're going to take a look at them afterwards. You have washers because these they have two different types of thickness. Goes underneath here. Actually, you're supposed to put them underneath the record. You have a nice alignment protractor especially designed if you're using one of their tone arms, which I recommend. And also you have a tone arm mounting uh, template, which is very useful if you're using a different kind of tone arm and you're not sure the distance from the spindle is correct. This is the way to go. Obviously you have the manuals, one for the tone arm, because this does not come with a tone arm. It comes by itself. You have to purchase your own. Plus, obviously, the manual of the turn turntable itself. And something I, I really love, two high-quality precision instruments, different kinds of screwdrivers that are fundamental to regulate, to tune, fine-tune the different elements of the turntable. Fantastic. High-quality, you're going to use these forever. And I'm already doing it several times. Okay, so now we're going to dive in. Take a look at the different aspects, and afterwards, I'm going to give you my take on the baby and its sound. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, here we are, ready to take a look at the different details. So, as you can see, we have this massive aluminium platter, which by itself is 36 kilos guys that's a lot and only the platter it's eight kilos as you can see we have this special um, material that they developed as i said before you have very basic controls right over here the start button which obviously starts the rotation and the selector of the speed 33 and 45 yes unfortunately it goes only on those two speeds 
That is why I am keeping my good old EMT-938, not only to play mono cartridges, mono uh, records, obviously, but also 78 records. That's fundamental. And the Sonics are, are, are marvelous, and that is why I'm always going to keep that EMT, or at least for a, a good while. In any case, let's turn back to our Kuzma. What I like is that with these buttons, you can fine tune the speed using, for example, those that um, stroboscopic light that I showed you in the video. Here is a link. Take a look at that. If you haven't, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's very precise. Uh, I also used the app, but that was better. And I was able actually to get the perfect 33 and one third RPM and 45 RPM speed on this baby. So as you can see, one of the cool things of this turntable is that, well, not as you can see, as you can imagine, this is completely customizable. First of all, the color. I mean, I've, I've seen this in a variety of colors, orange, blue, gray, silver, uh, yellow, any color. I'm, I'm a black guy, so I'd like black. Plus, you can build all around different kinds of supports to put up to four arms four tone arms yes guys that's a lot i wanted a wing which is this part over here but otherwise you have things called balconies or just simple holders that go here in the four corners and you can put different kinds of tone arms you practically can put any type of tone arm existing it's so easy to to to, to combine so no problem with that I went with the classic 4.9. 9 stands for the length. This is 9 inch. They also have the 11 inch, which should be possibly even better, but it's much, much more expensive. And as you can see here, this part here is the wing, is where you can rotate this part here in order to put this and also other arms in the correct position or the other solutions I mentioned before. If you go with Kuzma, remember that they have their own cable which is directly connected to the leads. That's something I do like. I had uh, other turntables in the past, other tone arms that were directly connected to the preamp. I think that is one of the best solutions. Obviously, if you have a rip, if you break that, you're done, unfortunately. But the best Sonics is this choice. So. I'm glad you have that. Obviously, you have an unbalanced RCA cables. You don't have a balanced connection. I know a lot of people do like balanced connections. So that's something you have to bear in mind. You can also here detach the shell if you want. So you just have to untach the leads and have another uh, cartridge ready to mount if that's something important for you. Very easy. On the back, you have the um, IEC inlet for the power. And that's it. You're ready to go. You have the four feet, which can be regulated in order to find the equilibrium of the level of your turntable. That is fundamental if your, your table or your even your, your floor isn't perfectly leveled. So that's a good bonus. Plus, the motor, there is a single DC motor inside this baby, this huge baby, which is maneuvering everything. And these heavy platters, these heavyweight turntables do have a little uh, something extra, a little oomph when you get to this amount of weight, of rigidity. I mean, I did purchase, um, perceive uh, a special impact on the way it handles the record, on the way it handles the deliver the Sonics after we're going to go in depth in that. In any case, an amazing piece of equipment extremely heavy once again but extremely solid and well built absolutely just two more words on the tone arm this is considered among one of the best tone arms in the world and that's why i wanted to go with a, a kuzma one of the reasons why i wanted to go with a kuzma package and I, for example just according to michael framer that's a fact plus many others, and I do understand why after I have mounted this. Below, we have some spacers. I don't know if you can see it. And that's about it. There is a, a, a traveling system because you have to untach here the cable if you want to uh, if you want to pack it up and bring it out and along. Remember that. 
if you're getting a used model, if you're sending it somewhere else. And that's it. Okay, guys. Time to spend a few words on my impressions, on my take on this turntable, on its sonics, on its performance and impact. Well, I want to say immediately from the start that, in my opinion, this is an excellent turntable. But, for example, compared to my EMT 938, we're just a notch above. We are above, but just a notch. In terms of numbers, for example, if my EMT is, I don't know, 8, this is 9, okay? So it's not a night and day difference. Also because the tone arm, the 910 of the EMT, which a lot of you denigrated, are not competent, in my opinion, saying that that package, that vintage package is not that good, you guys, go back and study because EMT is an incredible machine engineered by the top of the tops in that period of time. It's a broadcast turntable, but it is amazing. And now I have a confirmation of this because this is among the best turntables out there. Obviously, there are things even more incredible, but the performance is very close. Plus, I can finally state something that I always said in a lot of my videos. Turntables are not that important once you have reached a certain level, okay? The performance, in my opinion, again, reaches only a specific level. Then the trick is done by the cartridge, the tone arm, the phono preamp. Those are much more important. In any case, this is... A solid, amazing piece of equipment. I can do a lot of different things. I can't do 78 RPM, but I can do all the rest. And it's probably going to stay with me for a very long time. Nevertheless, my EMT is right over there. And it's going to stay with me as well. So, apart from that, what else can I say on the Sonics? Well, this Torm Arm is an amazing tracker. I obviously tried this whole package with my Denon. If, sorry. With my Dina Vector. So I know exactly how to compare it to my other turntables, to the, to the Technics, for example, the 1200G, to my EMT, and this is certainly above. It's certainly above for the tone arm, as again, and for the turntable itself. Obviously, I can't, couldn't use the tone arm of the EMT or the, the Technics, but in any case, I'm evaluating, evaluating the, 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 the overall performance with the same cartridge, with the same phono preamp. And again, this is above, but just a notch. Okay, guys, I hope this was useful. I hope you understand my straightforward objective definition, clarification, assessment of this product, uh, which again, I want to underline, it is incredibly high quality engineered piece of equipment no question about it this is going to last for generations if you keep it <clears throat> the tone arm and the different parts it's just amazing but if i have to talk about uh, hi-fi high fidelity this is my opinion okay again thank you again for watching and remember music was born analog well guys if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.